You may establish relations with toxic people and you may not even know it, whether it is among your friends, at work, among your family, and it can sometimes even be the person you share your bed with. These kinds of people are best known for complaining all the time, overruling and diminishing others, and creating problems unnecessarily. Toxic people tend to credit and discredit everything people do, making us feel useless, undermining our self-esteem, and making us hesitate about our own capacities. These interactions can put us on edge, so that we finally end up doing the things we wouldn't do or acting in the completely opposite way, sometimes even against our own interests. Elizabeth and Betty have been sharing an apartment for a few months. Since Elizabeth had an extra room in her apartment and Betty needed a place to live, they decided to share rent. After a few months, Elizabeth noticed that she wasn't feeling comfortable in her own house. She was doing anything to avoid running into Betty. Since every time that happened, it ended up with Betty throwing all her complaints at her about work, her boyfriend, the lack of attention the grocery store clerk paid her, and so on. Betty always had reasons to victimize herself, be annoyed, or criticize someone. Elizabeth tried to understand her because she was her friend after all and thought it would be a temporary thing. But time went by and the situation was far from changing. This upset her and caused her a lot of stress since the conversations with her friend were all about negative things, complaints, or reprisals. It is important to know how to get away from these people or neutralize them. But how? We will see that in this video, so if you're going through a situation like Elizabeth's, I advise you to stay until the end of the video. Action Plan to Avoid or Neutralize Toxic People If there's some reason why you can't avoid these people, whether it's because of work, study, or because you live with them, I advise you do everything in your reach to stay calm. Be careful not to be dragged into conflicts and unnecessary arguments. Try to ignore those comments that may influence your conduct. Don't argue. Don't fight. Don't let negative attitudes disturb your well-being. Keep calm and be patient. Don't give it more attention than what it deserves. Bite your tongue if necessary. In simple terms, don't play the game by their rules. It is imperative for you to establish clear and healthy limits and grow your positive thinking. You are a worthwhile person and there are many people that love you. Don't let anyone convince you otherwise. One of the keys to acting assertively before toxic people is to grow your ability to manage your emotions, assertive communication, and keeping calm under pressure. It's important for the well-being of our relationships to establish limits, but don't forget that it is also necessary to respect others as well. So. What should we do to neutralize or avoid these toxic people? Let's see this in six simple steps. Step one, identify toxic people around you. If we want to avoid toxic people, the first step we need to learn is just how do we identify them? Toxic people are not labeled as toxic, but it's still possible to identify them easily. It's important to clarify that the fact that someone may be toxic for you doesn't mean they're toxic in all of their relationships. Not all people must be compatible with us and vice versa. It may also happen that a bond that was healthy changes and becomes a toxic relationship. Sometimes what we need is just a little distance and perspective to detox. Toxic people used to complain a lot, discredit other people's work or achievements. They don't admit to their own flaws and they think they're always right. They think the world is against them all the time and they're always on the defensive, not being coherent in what they say or do. They're liars, manipulative, and they're victimizing themselves and others all the time. In Betty and Elizabeth's case, sometimes Betty wants Elizabeth to always agree with her. Everything has to be done according to Betty's will and every time Elizabeth tries to establish some limits, Betty finds a way to make her feel guilty. Repeatedly, Elizabeth gave in before Betty's wishes quitting the things that she really wanted to do. Betty also started to speak bad about Elizabeth's friends and family, and that's the reason why she started to become distant from the people she loves. Besides, Betty usually discredits Elizabeth's achievements with passive and aggressive comments. All these incidents have worn on Elizabeth, making her feel tired, 
frustrated and sad. She must stay away from Betty as soon as possible to avoid further frustration and to allow her self-esteem to thrive again. Step 2. Stay away from toxic people. It is important to keep control of our emotions and feelings. Take a deep breath and stay calm. There are situations in which our bond is unavoidable, like a family member for instance. That's where we need to put into practice healthy boundaries and establish a necessary distance. One day Elizabeth had the courage and told Betty she no longer wanted to live with her and asked her nicely to leave the apartment. As expected, Betty reacted in a very problematic way and tried to turn the situation around, blaming Elizabeth for the failure of their living together. Elizabeth, who already knew Betty's type of reaction, paid no attention to her complaints and reprisals, which grew more and more. Through the entire situation, Elizabeth kept calm, avoided arguments, and didn't get strung along by the heat of Betty's attacks, trying to persuade her to do so. It takes two to fight, and since Elizabeth didn't get into an argument, Betty had no choice but to leave after fighting alone. Step 3. Focus on your goals. Now that Elizabeth has been keeping a safe distance from Betty, her negative comments and constant complaints are a thing of the past. Elizabeth's mood has changed for the better and she feels more relaxed, powerful, and positive. Elizabeth finally reconnected with her inner peace, with her spaces and the activities that she loves. She has more time for herself to think more about herself and to focus on her goals and achievements. The isolation and solitude she was immersed in is also in the past, since she has reconnected with her friends and family once again. Step 4. Surround yourself with positive people. We all have toxic people around us, but we also have positive and brilliant people around us to share our conversations and stimulating moments with, which can bring positivity to our lives. Surround yourself with people who know you for who you are and also value you, people with whom you feel you can be yourself. We also need those people who are capable of assertively telling us the tough truths we need to know in order to grow. These are the people we need to look for and treasure in our lives, since they are the ones we can count on in tough times and will be there in our victories and defeats. Step 5 don't be infected by their toxic behavior. When we are exposed to toxic situations or environments to, over a long period of time, it is likely for us to be infected by this toxicity and incorporated into our own lives. Like rotten fruit, toxic people pass on their toxicity. It is important to look inside yourself and evaluate if you have been acting in a way which may not be like your original self. Elizabeth had noticed that during the time she was living with Betty, her behavior changed for the worst. Her attitudes towards the world were turning darker and more negative. She felt pessimistic, upset, and hopeless. Incorporating these kinds of attitudes into her life affected her and her close relationships, and as a result, she was getting more and more distant from the people she loved. Now that Betty is gone, she can acknowledge that these attitudes were not like her and were not something she would normally do. But since she was exposed to them for a long time, she ended up getting infected with them. Now that time has passed, Elizabeth can meditate about this issue and decide to get rid of all the traces of negativity and pessimistic attitudes. She decided to focus only on the activities and relationships that were good for her. She learned that it's not good to complain, speak badly of others, and be pessimistic. This is why she decided to keep her distance from every comment or thought that could be negative. And since then, she feels so much better that she has a clean conscience. Step 6. Be compassionate. So many people develop toxic behaviors when they have been through stressful, mistreating, or harmful situations that they couldn't handle emotionally. Take into account that maybe the person is going through a tough time, so try to be nice. Everybody has their own problems, and while it's important to be empathetic with them, you don't have to carry their burden. What you can do is be nice, communicate assertively, and empathize with other people's situations, but without letting it affect you. Remember that if you give a smile to life, life will smile back at you. 
Tell us what you think about this video and if you have any suggestions, you can leave them in the comments below. We will be happy to read them. And remember to share this video with your friends and family. We will leave you with other similar videos that you may find interesting. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe and tap the notification bell so YouTube can let you know when we upload new content. See you in the next video.